today. What animal do I have here? Elephant. You guys were all asking about my elephant yesterday, and we're going to learn about the elephant today. The reason I drew an elephant is because the elephant is going to help us know where our base word goes, where our prefix goes, and where our suffix goes. But before we can find out where they go, we have to find out what they are. Right? Yes. You know what? I will tell you. But you got to wait just a minute. Okay. A prefix. Letters that are added to the beginning of a word to change the meaning. Do you know where you guys have heard this before? On mountain language. Who's done mountain language? Oh, every person here does it every single morning. I know because I do it with you. Okay? So, remember there's those words that you have to find the main word, and then you have to find the letters that were added to the beginning, Samantha? Right? Okay. We're going to look at words like that today. All right. So, the first prefix we're going to learn are these two letters. Tell somebody next to you what those two letters say. U -n -n. Raymond, what do the two letters say? Un. Un. These two letters say un. When we put them in front of a word, it means not. So if I have the word done. Done. When something's done, it's finished, right? You don't have anything more to do? Yep. What if I put these two words, or these two letters in front of it? Undone. Now undone. it's the word undone. And un means not. So this word now means um, not done. Tell your partner what this word means. Not done. Undone. Okay. Let me try another one, and then I want you to tell your partner what the word will mean. This is the word friendly. When you're friendly, you're being really nice to someone, right? Like your you're treating them like you're your friend. What if I put two letters in front? Tell a partner. Tell them what it means. Tell them what it means. Tell them what it means. The base word 